Hey Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I've got my big money Bolo video. I have not done one of these forever, it seems. Um, I've got 25 big money Bolos coming your way. These are items that I picked up at thrift stores or garage sales, items that I bought low and I sold high. And some of these went for some big money, so I'm pretty excited about it. All right, let's get started. All right. The first item is this Jimmy Halloween inflatable ghost scream mask. Not mask. It's a mask, but it's on an inflatable thing. And I picked this up at a garage sale for $5 and it sold for $99.99 and the buyer paid shipping. And it was not in mint condition by any means. It had definitely been used, but definitely a cool item. The next item is this vintage snapback trucker hat and it was autographed. And I actually picked this up at a thrift store and I wasn't sure if I should buy it. And I know that's ridiculous. Um, but I was like, I don't know if the autograph is real. I don't know. Um, I just, I had no idea that it was worth what it ended up being worth. But once I um, talked to my friend Chernox Connection, if you haven't checked out his channel, he like knows everything about hats. Definitely go check him out. Um, but he's like, yeah, that's definitely something you need to price high. So I was really excited about this one. I ended up taking a best offer of $300 on this. So it's a trucker snapback um, race. It's got, um, it's a racing hat, Carl, or I'm sorry, Cal Yarborough. I don't know. I don't know anything about this stuff, um, but I'm really excited about it. So definitely a bolo. And I believe that the being autographed definitely helped, but it has a nice patch and it, it's, you know, it's in really great condition also. The next item is this. La Prière Life Threads Gold Perf Parfum. And again, it was just a lucky find. Um, I had no idea when I bought it that it was going to be worth $250. So that's what it sold for. I believe it's vintage or discontinued or something like that. Um, a lot of the perfumes I pick up are bread and butter. I like picking up perfume because it's quick and easy to list. Sometimes I get lucky like this and I sold this for $250 plus shipping. This I picked up at a thrift store for, uh, actually, you know what? I think it was $6 and it was half off day. So I think I got it for $3 or half off whatever it was. Um, but I think I got it for three bucks. And it's at some sort of like toner, secure cartridge, HP laser jet thing. I'm still not clear what it does. But I took a best offer of $158 for this and the buyer paid shipping. And it's funny, um, the person messaged me and said they were drop shipping it to someone. So, I mean, they straight told me I'm drop shipping this. And I'm like, I don't care what you're doing with it. And these were selling for a lot more. So I could have held out for more. But I got such a good deal on it that I was completely fine with taking $158. This Bear Hugs um, Vintage Dimensions Needlepoint, I picked this up, I believe at a garage sale, and I sold this for $45 and the buyer paid shipping. I typically pay a buck or two for items like this. Berkham Bunny, this was, I believe, my last Vaseline Glowing Bunny. And I picked these up at a garage sale. I bought a whole bunch of them. I still have bunnies left, but this was my last glowing one. I took a best offer of $85 on this and the buyer paid shipping. This Eero, I think is how you say it. It's E-E-R-O. Um, I knew this was a bolo when I saw it because I recently put this system in my house and it's not cheap. I picked this up at a thrift store for $10 and I sold it really fast for $75 and the buyer paid shipping. Alvin and the Chipmunks. These were a garage sale find. They did take a little while to sell, but I sold them for $40.50 and the buyer paid shipping and I had like a couple bucks in them. Lego Friends. So I actually went to the back of the, the pamphlets and I 
pieced this out and I will tell you, I'll probably never do it again because it was awful, 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 awful. It took me so many hours and I do not think it was worth my time. Now, I paid, I believe, $80 for a huge box of, I can't remember how many boxes of Legos. If you go into my um, haul videos, I've, I've got the video where I picked up the Legos um, and it'll show you exactly what I got. Now, I sold this one for $112.50 and I sold this one for a best offer of $93.30. So I made my, I pretty much doubled my money just on those two and I have others that I sold. So counting the pieces and letting people know what's missing and what's not, and what's there and all of that, you are going to make more money on it because people want those details. But is it worth your time? I don't know. Like I'm, I'm still like I did this probably two or three months ago, and I'm still like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? So I don't know. I made good money, but a lot of work. The next item I picked up at a thrift store. I want to say it was like ten dollars. It's a Rival Electric Ice Cream Yogurt Maker Freezer. It's vintage. It's really cool, and it sold for ninety dollars in the buyer paid shipping, and it sold pretty fast. This Barbie ponytail Burnett doll, it's just the head. And this came in a, um, I believe it was like a mystery toy lot that I got. And I took a best off, or no, I'm sorry, this sold for $67.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And you can see her makeup is not perfect, but she still sold for that price. So definitely be on the lookout for these vintage Barbies, even if it's just the head. This lot of Barbies, I just lotted them up. I probably should have sold some of these separate. Looking at them now, I think that I probably went the wrong route on this. But I did sell them for $72 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Victoria's Sink Secret Pink Leggings Pants. These were new with tags. I got them at a garage sale for like a buck or two. And they've got the cell phone pocket. And they retail for $66. They sold super fast. I took a best offer of $40 plus shipping. This little tykes came out of that same toy mystery box, I do believe. Um, it was just like a big tote of toys at the thrift store. And uh, I want to say I paid $20 or maybe it was $25. I think it was $25 for the whole tote. Um, I do have a video on it if you want to see what else was in there. But I sold this for $40 and the buyer paid shipping. Babysitter's Club. I picked these up at a garage sale and I want to say they were like a quarter each or maybe they bundled all of them. I can't remember, but um, I'm going to say I was all in for less than 10 bucks and I sold these for $129.50 and the buyer paid shipping. These Barbies was a lot of seven and they've all got kind of that pastel-y like bright colors. I think some of them are like skating Barbies. So I lotted them together. I sold them for $58 and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And I believe those came from a garage sale also. This one is like the funniest thing ever. I got this at a garage sale in a tote. It was um, a tote of plush. It was 50 cents. I got it home. I looked it up and I could not believe my eyes. Um, it's a vintage 1979 Edward Gorey beanbag pig. It's a beanbag pig. It's collectible, and I took a best offer of $75 on this and the buyer paid shipping. How cool is that? The next item I sold is this vintage Christmas village cardboard putts house made in Japan, and I sold this. I took a best offer of $55 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked a bunch of these up at a thrift store, and I probably had a buck or two in it. This came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay and it's a Betsy Johnson gift set and it's earrings and a necklace. It's brand new in the package and I took a best offer of $50 and the buyer paid shipping. This one was awesome. I believe I paid $10 for this if I remember correctly. Again, it's in one of my haul videos. It might have been, it was less than 15. I know that, but I was going to clean it up and then I was like, no, I don't want to mess it up. And I put it up for auction and this went for $305. I was so excited. It's a WAPAK, W-A-P-A-K 
hollow wear Indian head cast iron waffle iron. And I just put that it needs restored because it was not in good condition. You can see it's rusty. And I think you can like use certain things to clean these, but I was just too afraid I'd mess it up. So I sold it as is and it went for 305. The next item I sold is this Disney Tailspin Baloo's Sea Duck Plane. This was a dollar at the thrift store and it sold for $72 plus shipping. This I picked up at a garage sale. I want to say I paid like five or 10 bucks for it. It was kind of a bundle deal where I bundled a bunch of stuff. So I don't really know what I paid for it, but I'm guessing five or 10 bucks. And it's super cool. They change colors. And I sold this for $132.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Another Berkham bunny. This one is like amethyst carnival thumper, uh, uh, carnival glass. And it's a rabbit thumper uh, figurine. And I sold this for, for $90 and the buyer paid shipping. And if you want to hear more about this, you can go to my thrift battle against Donatella Bodolino on um, Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. You guys can watch us battle it out. But I talk about these bunnies and what I got them for and the story behind it. So if you guys want to check that out, it's on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. And it's the thrift battle between me and Donatella Bodolino. And I'm not going to tell you who won. The next item is this Lego set and I sold this for $52 and the buyer paid shipping. This again was a part of the um, Lego lot that I bought at the garage sale. And I didn't realize that in the back of the Lego books, they put the pieces and then I could match them up. So I built this one. <laughs> it was kind of fun to build it, I guess. I never really built a Lego set. And I don't know. So I tried it. It took me forever, but it's kind of cool to have the pictures and it was missing one piece. So I sold it for $52. It would have been easier to count the pieces. And I learned the hard way that it gives you the pieces in the back by building it and seeing it at the end. But uh, yeah. This is my big money bolo video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.